Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be talking about how to use your front sight post to do both uh, range estimation uh, and wind correction. Okay, so for those of you that have been following my channel, uh, for the last week I have been on, an, on a traditional iron sights kick uh, with the ARs. I, I've kind of gone back and I'm, uh, I'm learning how to use these uh, in a traditional way before red dots, before bolt drop compensators, uh, you know, before all that. So uh, I did, I've done prior videos on how to use the range drum over here. Um, so today we're going to be talking about using the front sight post over here uh, to do both your range estimation and wind correction. So the first thing we got to do is we got to figure out how, how big this front sight post is right how wide is it because we can use that as a measuring tool now uh two ways we can go about it we can use the calipers which i will in the later part of this video but for now i'm going to talk about like a really rough way that you can do this in the field okay so uh, for me these target boxes that i use right they're about 14 inches wide so when i put this out at 100 yards Okay, that front sight post takes up this entire target from edge to edge over here, okay? So what that tells me is that my front sight post uh, is 14 M away, 14 minutes of angle wide, okay? Um, and we know that the average width of a man is 18 to 20 inches. So using that information, we can now start to piece together some information okay um so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna drop some information on you based on how mines work uh and then if you're interested we're gonna go into you know if you're still with me towards the end of the video we're gonna go through some of the calculations uh, to which i arrived at this point so uh my front sight post uh you know when i measured it with the calipers okay like that it measures a 0 0.07 um and this is a pretty standard one that's what most of you guys are going to have so we're going to go off of that so if you have a standard front sight post which measures about 0 0.07 um which is 14 minutes of angle wide okay uh if, if a man is st in order for a man to take up 14 minutes of angle shoulder to shoulder he has to be standing at 150 yards okay um at 225 yards he's gonna take up three quarters. At 300 yards, he's gonna take up half. And I have this in red because I think that's like uh, something that you can easily remember. You can remember uh, that, you know, if you can remember that, you can kind of figure out the rest, okay? So at uh, 375 yards, uh, an average man's gonna take up a quarter of that front sight post. And at 450 yards, he's gonna take up one eighth. And like I said, I have the 300 in red um, because here's the thing, I mean, if, if, if you got somebody that's standing at 150 yards or 225 yards, uh, no big deal, you know, uh, you know, you just put your sights under them, you're going to hit them. It's once you get the 300 yards and beyond that you really have to start concerning yourself with, you know, range estimation, uh, you know, and, and your bullet drop and stuff like that. So if he's taking up half of that front sight post, he's at 300 yards, um, you know, if you've got a 25, 300, zero, you're good. If you have, let's say, a 50 yard zero, right, then you gotta hold a little bit higher. You gotta put that front sight post under under his neck so that you can hit him in the chest area if you got a 50 yard zero. Um, if, uh, and then if you got, if he's at 370, if, if he's uh, at 375 yards, which you measure because he's only taking up a quarter of your front sight post. Uh, and now you gotta hold even higher. Hopefully, you have a range drum if you're using iron sights, where you can just rotate this to the 400 position, uh, which is easy. Um, or, you know, uh, you know, or you basically would have to hold over his head, right at the top of his head. Uh, and at 450 yards, uh, again, if you have a range drum like like this has, I would rotate this to the five position. Um, if you don't, you pretty much have to cut the man in half and, you know, whatever this distance appears to be, you got to put that much over his head in order to hit it. Okay? 
uh, which can be a little bit difficult um, if because now the front sight post is in your way. Uh, the way I would do that is I would basically uh, drop the rear sight so I don't I don't you know um, so I don't cover up my target you know so that's how I would do that. But that's a subject for a different video. So uh, so those are kind of like the cheat notes. All right, if you have a standard front sight post, okay. Um, if he's taking up the full thing, he'll be at 150 yards, three quarters, he's at 225, half, he's at 300, uh, three, um, a quarter, he's at 375, and one eighth, he's at 450. Okay, so now let's talk about the wind correction, right? Um, uh, you know, how do we, you adjust left or right for wind, okay? So here's the thing, we're gonna be working off of a 10 mile per hour wind. The reason why I like to work off of the 10 miles per hour is because if it's a 20 mile per hour wind, well, you just double that value. If it's only a five mile per hour wind, you just cut it in half. And I, I've done different videos on how to figure out what the wind is. Uh, basically, what I do is I hang ribbons. If the ribbon's hanging straight down, right, just 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 uh, you know, uh, just um, flagging ribbons that you buy at a, at a hardware store. So if the rig ribbon stand hanging straight down, that's zero wind. If it's out here like that, you know, uh, that's uh, 20 miles per hour, and then you divide it. So that's 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, so that tells me what my wind is. It also tells me what my direction is. Because if the wind is coming in sideways, right, that's a full value. We apply the full value. If it's coming in diagonally, that's a half value, okay? So um, knowing that information uh, and then working off of a, that 10 mile per hour wind, we can make adjustments. So... Um, again, now, well, what type of adjustments do we make? Well, I know that my, you know, with a 10 mile per hour wind, uh, using a 5.56, five, um, if it's a full value, at 100 yards, it will move my bullet one inch, which is not a big deal. I wouldn't even adjust for that. At 200 yards, it will move it half a foot, right, six inches. At 300 yards, one full foot. At 400 yards, two full feet. And at 500 yards, three full feet, okay? And, and, of course, everything's rounded off here because we are working with iron sights. And, you know, our eyes are only so good, you know, past 100 yards, right? So I'm not getting into the inches here, right? Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm rounding this off uh, to the nearest foot, okay? So, um, so using that value and knowing the width of our front sight post, okay, for all of these values, right, if we have a 10 mile per hour wind, right, uh, you would you would basically uh, move a one quarter, move over one quarter of your front side post. Let me get something so I can demonstrate what I'm talking about. Hold on for a second. I'm going to pause you guys. Okay, so let's pretend that this is my front side post, okay? So basically what we're going to do is, I mean, that's the center right there. And we're going to basically divide this. So that's my center. And then figure out, you, you would, well, let me get some thinner. There you go. That's, that's my center, okay? So basically, you, you figure that's a quarter, and then that's the full over here. So you basically divide this into four parts. One, two, three, four, okay? So if you have a 10-mile-per-hour wind, okay, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to basically hold, let's say the wind is, you know, you basically hold over one quarter. If it's a 20 mile per hour wind, you would go all the way to the edge, okay? So that's no wind, that's a 10 mile per hour wind, that's a 20 mile per hour wind, right right there on your edge. Now, this adjustment is the same uh, regardless of what distance this is. And the reason is because uh, as, you know, as you get to a further distance, your target is going to get smaller and smaller. So, for example, at, at the 200 yards, right, the target might be this thick, right? So, if he's, let's say, uh, that's 10 miles per hour. Well, let's say you got a 10 mile, a 20 mile per hour wind. Well, that's just a, a, a minor adjustment relative to your front sight post because the man is going to be pretty big compared to your front sight post, okay? But now, let's say you're a little further back. Well, now your man's going to be a little bit thinner, right? He's going to be a little bit smaller, right? So, you know, you're making the same adjustment, right? There's your 10-mile-per-hour wind. There's your 20-mile-per-hour wind.
but you you got a smaller target so that that little bit of adjustment even though to you it's, it looks like you're making the same adjustment because it's further out it's 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 gonna make you know it's gonna it's gonna move the bullet a lot more okay so let's say you're even further out let's say you're let's say i don't know 400 at 400 again now your man is even smaller he's gonna look like this so again if if it's a 10 mile per hour wind you bring it over a quarter if it's a 20 mile per hour wind you bring it right to the edge over here right and let's say he's all the way out to like 500 or 600 yards same deal okay so now your man looks like this thin right like this allen key over here right so if he's here you know you bring it over it's hard to even hold this thing so if he's here right if that's no wind that's a 10 mile per hour wind that's a, a 20 mile per hour wind and of course because now my man is so thin right at, at let's say 500 yards you know the, uh, the the movement across the front sight post is more significant so that's why from my front sight post it's a quarter no matter what distance he's at it's just a question of am i gonna hold you know i'm holding a quarter for 10 miles per hour or if it's 20 i'm going all the way to the edge of the front sight post so i i think this is amazing information that i've been able to rediscover and share with you guys so uh and th those are kind of like the cheat notes right really fast and dirty you know uh, so, but what, what I want to do now is I want to go into some of the details of helping you guys figure out uh, what your, you know, what your uh, front sight post is, how big it is, so that you can do this yourself. Now, the easiest way is like, hey, take take a target like this, put it out at 100 yards, you know, and figure out how many inches of something does it take up, does it take to fill up your front sight post. If it's too big, it just cut it down, right? Until you get to exactly, because that's going to be the most exact number, okay? But you can do this in your house, right, uh, with the calipers. So you can take your calipers over here, right? And now this is, the front side post is a perfect square. So you can just measure it like this. Okay, so that comes out to, it actually comes out to a point zero six eight. I, I just rounded up to a point zero seven. Um, remember, you're using your you're naked, you're using your eye now at you know at distance. So uh, you know you, you there, there's you know you could do a little bit of rounding here. Okay. Uh, so um, so my uh, my front sight post is a point seven uh, point zero seven. All right. So here's the thing. Uh, how do I do this thing? Uh, yeah, that you need to know. Okay, you need to know. Oh, that's down here. Okay, so these are the numbers that you gotta you gotta figure out. So uh, you are going to uh, now these are kind of these are constants. 21, 21,600 that goes on the top line, and then on the bottom line here you're gonna have seventeen point three uh, times six point six point two eight three one eight, and then divide that by your point zero seven that you measured okay so th these these numbers are constant over here though 17.30 times the 6.28 whatever blah 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 and then divide that by what you measured uh with the calipers and then it actually measures out to 13.9 moa so uh, my crude method of just putting a 14 inch box out there uh, came pretty close. I said 14 inches. It actually came out to 13.9. And you know what? I'm just going to stick with the 14 because I, I think that's close enough for what I'm doing. Okay. So the next thing that we need to know is at what distance does it does at what distance does your man uh, cover up your entire front sight post? Okay. Uh, so the first thing we got to know is what the what's the width. Of the target and it doesn't have to be a man it could be uh, the average length of a deer or uh, whatever whatever target you have you gotta you gotta you gotta pick something we just gotta know the target in inches right so I picked 20 inches okay let me get behind the camera so the point so target in inches uh, over there target in inches uh, divided by the minutes of angle times 100 so I rounded up to 20 inches because how that's how wide most men are in my area 20 inches divided by the 14 moa 
times 100 gave me a number of 143 is where I get my full coverage. And what I did is I just rounded that, uh, that up to 150. So that's where my that's where my 150 number came in. Whoops. Hold on. If I drop the camera. Here. Okay, so. Um, using this calculation, I found out that uh, at 143 uh, at 143 yards, uh, the target basically completely covers the width of my front sight post so that's where the 150 came in i just rounded up to 150 because i can remember 150 a lot easier than i can remember 143 all right and that's where i started working out the rest of those numbers from uh so this is something interesting for you guys to work out work with there's other videos that cover the details of these math mathematical computations uh and that will help you go through it I, I just kind of wanted to introduce the idea here and kind of give you the cheat notes uh, where if you have like a, a standard front sight post, you know, you could probably just use these numbers unless you've changed out your front sight post to something that's thinner. Uh, these numbers that I spoke about earlier in the video are, are, are going to pretty much work for you. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop some comments below. Um, anything you want to add, uh, you know, I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, if you're not a member of my channel, subscribe, and we'll talk again soon.